Okay, I hate math. I think I repeated math like three years in a row. Algebra, sucked at it. It's okay though, I'm an adult now and I don't hold it personal. I blame my teachers, that's a different story. Hey guys, William here from fitnessforbackpain.com. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode here. We're talking about weight loss. We've been talking about weight loss. This is, I think, video three that we're talking about this. We did total calories, we did proteins. Now we're gonna do the second best is the fats and carbs, proteins number one. Second best is modulating, is balancing the fats and carbs. And there's a lot of freedom when it comes to fats and carbs, so I'm super excited to talk about this today. Now, before we jump in, if you wanna skip the line, if you wanna cheat and go right to the finish line and win, be a winner, what you can do is download my template technique, right? I go over all the things that have been included in the past couple of videos in that one PDF download and more to help you exceed your first 10 to 15 pounds of weight loss. So if you want a cheat sheet, downloadable thing that you can just put it in front of you, follow it, lose the weight, that PDF is for you. I'll be talking about the fats and, and carbs section of that today, but if you want more numerical values that you can plug in for yourself, go check out the template. It'll be in the comment section below. So let's talk about fats and carbs, right? So you got your fats, you got your avocados, and your butter. It's pretty much all I eat, just butter and avocados. Then you got carbs. You've got, this is my loaf of bread. It looks it looks like a brick, but it's actually a loaf of bread. So what do I do with fats? Now there's some stuff out there if you're a male and your fats are super, super low. Yes, there is some research out there that talks about testosterone levels and how lower fats can impact your testosterone level, but if you are super low fat, like let's say your fat is less than 15% of your actual diet for the entire day, if you're eating that low of fat, then you're really forcing yourself to do that, right? Your, your diet is set up in a way where you're just not gonna hit that much. Most people who eat a blend of fats, carbs, and proteins will be higher in fats by the end of the day. So if you're at that level, I suggest that you don't. If you wanna find out more about testosterone levels and fat levels in your, or testosterone levels being affected by how much fat you're consuming, do some research, find out, and make that decision on your own. I'm not here to talk about that necessarily today. So we're gonna cover fats and carbs in two different ways. One way is the super easy way, very simple. It's all about checks and balances. I know everyone wants to see numbers and they want to be very precise. I hate that. I'm not a precise person, you know what? And sometimes it works in my favor. In this case, weight loss, it does. So if you want to try this out, follow along. I'm also going to give you a more of a numerical guideline that you can follow so you can kind of check yourself and see how well you're doing just by winging it. So fats and carbs, we know the importance with the fats and carbs is that the fact that you have balance. You have, you can go up one way, down one way, down one way, and up one way. It doesn't matter. Whatever fits you best is the best way to go. And if you, the easy way of finding out how many fats and carbs you should be eating, if it's high fat or low carb, whatever you want to do, is plug in what you normally eat. We already know your total calories for the day, right? You, you did that a couple videos ago. Now you know the proteins, what you should be at for the day. We did that last video. So we've got total calories for the day and proteins for the day. We have those numbers set. Now all that's left is fats and carbs. So what I suggest you do, instead of trying to rewire and rework your entire diet and try to freak out and spend all Sunday trying to figure out what you're gonna do the next couple of days, take a few days, four to five days, start plugging in what you're eating, all right? You're making a few changes. You know your total calories. You know your protein amounts. So you're trying to hit those now. Where do you end up at the end of the day? Are your fats higher? Are your carbs higher? Are they both high at the same rate? Um, are you 800 calories over your total calorie, what you should be at? I mean, there's, you're, you're gonna find yourself in a few different boats here, right? The boat I want you to look at is where your fats and carbs tend to land, because odds are you're a creature of habit. You're gonna wanna eat pretty much the same way even once you get into a calorie deficit. So we're gonna respect that make this as easy as possible and see what you're already doing. If you're a higher fat person, lower carb, then odds are we're gonna continue that once that deficit hits and you're really trying to lose weight. If you're a higher carb, lower fat, 
we're going to stick with that and plug that in for you as you learn to become more into a calorie deficit, right? That's the easiest way of doing it because you know your total calories, you know your protein. So now you know the fats and carbs have to fit within that total calories for the day. So the easiest way of doing it is just to go off of what you're, where you're landing already. You like almonds, you like creamer in your coffee, you like butter on your bread, you like whatever else you like that's high fat. Well, that's odds are you don't want that to have to change if you don't have to. So consume those, see where you're at, and at the end of the day, it's all gonna shake out and it's gonna tell you where you're at already. Now from there, again, we're gonna cut back to calorie deficit. So that's kind of like the going rogue way of finding your fats and carbs, okay? I understand that's not as accurate as it could be, so let's jump into some, some numerical values of fats and carbs. So rule of thumb is 25 to 30% of your total calories should come from fats, right? We know, or if you don't know, you are gonna know now, is that one gram of fat is equal to nine calories compared to proteins and carbs, one gram of those is only equal to four. So we already know that one gram of fat has way more calories than a protein or carb. We're gonna use that to our advantage. So we already know that 25 to 30% of our total calories should come from fats alone. So let's do the math. My rule of thumb is 0.3 to 0.6 grams per pound of body weight. This is going back to the high carb, low carb, or high fat, low fat diet preference. If you're a low fat type of person, this is more of a low fat type of diet. If you are a high fat type of person, this is more of a higher fat, okay, obviously. So the simple math comes down to how you wanna consume and how high your fats you want them to be. If I wanna be a higher fat content, well, let's just say we take my weight, 188, right? Times it by 0.6, that's gonna give us a number. Let's just say it's 1,000 calories, right? So I know 1,000 calories alone are coming from my fat because I love fats. They're beautiful. So I've got my high fat, my thousand calories. I know my total calories should be at 1900 at least. Then I have, I already calculated my protein last week. So I have my protein, which let's just say it's around 650. That's a fair place to be. 650. So all we gotta do is add up these calories. We got a thousand calories in fats. We have 650 in protein. That's 1,650 total so far. Then guess, guess what? All you have to do is take 1,900, subtract 1,650. That equals, this is gonna be an eight, this is gonna be a one, this is gonna be a five, this is gonna be a two, that's gonna be a zero. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, it's 250 total calories left. Guess what? Proteins, done. Total calories, we already know. Fats, done. Now we have carbs. 250 calories total of carbs per day. That's all I can play with. So if you were to do the math backwards now because you know that one gram of carb is equal to four calories, you do the math. Let's just say, um, I don't have the math in front of me here, but let's say that's 34 or 35 grams of carbs. 35 times four is equal to blank. Okay, whatever that number is. Don't do my math, don't judge me my math, okay? I feel really bad about this. My math is garbage, don't judge me. We're hypothetically saying that 35 grams of carbs is all I can eat with this fat content. I love my fat, I love my half a cup of heavy whip in my coffee every morning. Not really, but let's say I do, and that makes me a thousand calories. That 1,000 calories is crushing my diet, obviously, but I like it. So all I'm able to eat for the rest of the day is 35 grams of carbs. That is my balance. That is my high fat, low carb balance. I'm gonna plug that in, stick with it, see what happens after three to four weeks. That's it, that's it, I'm done. 
but seriously though, like it's 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 really that simple. If you know your total calories, if you know your proteins and they're at a at a good spot, you know that your fats and carbs can be balanced however you want to do that. There's no math needed. If you have an, a tracking app which I give you the two best that I use in the template technique. In that PDF, I share with you the ones that I use personally. If you have those doing all the math for you, all you have to do is plug it in and then make adjustments. Plug it in, make adjustments. That's all you gotta do. Find the balance that works for you. You can either do the rule of thumb, the, the William rule of thumb, where you just wing it and you say, okay, I naturally eat higher fats or higher carbs. Let's just stick with that and cut them back. That's all you gotta do. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if they fluctuate day to day, as long as they're within that total calorie, you're good. Or you do the math. Point three, low, low fat, point six, higher fat. Do the math, work it all out. It's gonna tell, it's gonna give you a, a number that's left. That number that's left is your total freaking carbs. And if that's a half a slice of pizza, guess what? That's all you can have, you know? But if it's more than that, and you can have a big old plate of pasta, then crush it. As long as your total calories are where they should be at the end of the day, and the total calorie is a deficit, guess what? You're on your way to looking your best, whether it's summer, spring, winter, fall, false fall, false summer, wherever you live, weather changes. No matter where you're at, this is what you gotta do, okay? Fats and carbs, find the balance, find what works for you, and it'll all come together and work flawlessly and you'll, it'll be sustainable. You'll be able to do it forever. It'll be a lifestyle for you, not just a crash course diet, okay? Thanks so much for watching. If you have not gotten it yet, go to the link below. I have a PDF that giveaway to help you lose your first 10 to 15 plus pounds called the Template Technique. I go over all the details you see here along with way more in-depth in detail stuff that you can plug into your own lifestyle and change to start seeing that weight loss. Go check it out, links below, and I'll see you on the next episode.